Hello, I'm Orpholos, and this is going to be a very quick video on how to get all the Mods Free Remix working with the MultiMC launcher. So let's jump right in. First thing we're going to need, obviously, is MultiMC. We're going to get that from MultiMC.org. Links in the description, and we're just going to scroll down the page to download for whichever operating system you're on. I'm running Windows. Downloads pretty quickly. You'll notice it downloads as a zip rather than an installer. So you can put it anywhere on your machine you want. The only real thing to think about here is if you're going to be playing single player particularly, Minecraft can benefit from having the world files on an SSD. On the flip side, the world files can take up quite a lot of space. It's just something to think about. Once you've got that installed, open it up, it'll look a bit like this, and we're gonna need to get the pack. So that, again, link's gonna be in the description. You'll get it from CurseForge. Uh, you can find this by Googling just as easy. I'm gonna take the latest release version at time of writing, that is 1.1.0. There's a 1.1.1 beta, but generally, if you want your game to be stable and not crash all the time, it's best to stick with the release versions. So I'm just gonna click on that, and it will take me to the page where I can download the zip. There's two ways we can go from here. One is to add instance, import from zip, give it a name, and then find the zip, I'm clicking browse, find our downloads folder, find the zip, open, and that's pretty much all we need to do. Just hit okay. It'll extract the zip. Pretty soon it will start, here we go, downloading mods. So it's downloading all the ones that it doesn't already have. And here we go, the download is finished and we have our All The Mods instance all ready to go. Uh, all I need to do is double click on that and it will launch. Just to quickly show you the other way of doing it, uh, rather than clicking Add Instance, we could have just dragged this zip into, the, into here and it will do all the things for us, including suggesting a name. I'm not, a, I'm not dead keen on all these pluses in place of the spaces, so I'd probably rename it anyway and we get very little um, very little difference. The last thing to do is to set some Java settings. So we're going to go, go into settings and we're going to up our RAM allocation. Technically, the minimum is five and a half gigabytes for the all the mods packs, including all the mods remix. In our testing, we've not had much success with anything less than eight gigabytes. If your computer only has eight gigabytes of RAM, obviously don't try and give all eight to Java. See how you get on with six. Um, the All The Mods team recommend a set of Java arguments as well that I'm just going to put in here. There is a link in the description to the page where you can get those from. I'm not going to try and... Yeah, there's quite a lot of them. I'm not going to try and explain them now. Let's open it and see what we get. And there we go. The All The Mods logo and... Minecraft and the All The Mods free remix pack are loading nicely. There's a couple of reasons why you might want to do this. One is that MultiMC is a much more lightweight launcher than the Twitch launcher, which is the officially supported one. And really it's, I mean, for me, it's that there's so much fewer clicks required just to get into the game. And I know another reason is that MultiMC actually allows you to assign a lot more RAM to the game if you have a lot of RAM in your computer. And one of it is, if you happen to be on Linux, there isn't actually another option because there's no Twitch client for Linux, whereas MultiMC is available for Linux. So this is the only good multi-instance launcher available for Linux. Uh, the biggest downside of MultiMC over Twitch is the convenience factor for updates. Twitch will tell you if there's an update and just download it automatically. But I think it's a good trade-off, and that's the way I use it myself. And that seems like a great time to end the video. Goodbye.